Once you have your overall survivorship graph made, the next step is to make gender survivorship graphs. So again, I'm going to want to start pre-1820, scroll down to so that I can see age class start point and then the two different survivorship, overall males and then females. And in this case, I'm going to want to start by graphing the male survivorship and then we'll add the female survivorship. So I want my age class start point here to be my X values. I'm going to want survivorship males to be my Y values. So the first step is to highlight my X values. So I'm going to click on the zero, highlight all the way down to 90. And then I need to highlight survivorship males without highlighting that overall survivorship in the middle. And the way that I do that is I hold down the control key. And while holding down the control key, I'm going to click on my first male and highlight all the way down to the bottom of that column. And now when I hit insert, Again, scatter, straight line, connect the dots. I should get a graph that looks like this. And this is the survivorship of males. As you can see, the X values are outlined in purple, the Y values are outlined in blue. Again, right now it displays this line as series one. I want it to say males. So I'm gonna right click my graph. Sometimes this will happen. If this happens, click the graph again. <laughs> then right click the graph. Hit select data, and this box pops up. I wanna click series one click edit, and then type in my series title, which in this case is males. Click OK. Now I want to add my female data. So I'm going to click the add button, and I have a little box that pops up, series name, I want it to say females. And I'm going to drag this box just so that I can see my data. For where it says series x values, I'm going to click put the box to the right, highlight my x's, which once again are going to be age class start point hit enter, and now I want my Y values to be the survivorship females data. So I'm going to click the box, highlight survivorship females, hit enter, right, and click OK. And as you can see I now have two series of data, and if I look at the graph, um, females are displayed in red, males are displayed in blue. By default Excel displays the first thing you graph in blue and the next thing in uh, red the third thing in green and so on and so forth. You're welcome to leave it this way. So I'm, now that I have both series of data, I'm going to click OK and I have a graph. Once again, I want to make sure that I have um, a title and axes labels on my graph. So if I'm not already there, I want to go up to Chart Tools and Design and pick the first chart layout that has a title and axis titles. Uh, as before, you want to just make sure that you have appropriate axes labels that you include units when it's necessary. Um, on this set of graphs, when you're doing the gender graphs, you want to make sure that your chart title includes the time period. So I might write something like this. And at this point, I have a viable graph. I'd fill in the axis titles. Um, and then repeat this process for the 1820 to 1899 data and then the post-1900 data.